What up, guys? You already know who it is. I don't need to say no names. But there is something I am going to mention here in a minute. That is very, very serious, actually. And it's something that I just caught through Rihanna. If you guys know who Rihanna is. Uh, she made her debut on Facebook Live last night, actually. So give me just a minute to to invite her back into this. Alright, now, there is something I would like to bring up that, if you guys watched last night's live stream, you guys do know that I helped my friend, Rianne Anderson, debut some of her cover work and some of her vocal work live last night on the live stream through Facebook. Um, I helped her debut it. If you guys were here, you guys saw what she could do. Well, throughout the comments, I kind of noticed a couple of things from a person named Gunnery Sergeant. The, and normally I would pass up or pass by or ignore negative comments from people like him, but the way he did it was beyond ignoring, like, Hey, what up, Tristan? What up, Regina? What up, Sam? Hey, Greg. Hey, Michael. Hey, Matt. Um, but if you guys go back to last night's live stream, you'll see some of those comments that he left, which were brought to my attention by Rianne herself. She did bring them up to me and said, hey, you might want to check these out, and I did. Uh, what he did was very degrading and what he did was basically sat there and was like hey you know like he basically said that she was better than me comparing you know two different styles and I'll admit Rianne did stand up to him and said hey you know like you can't compare two different styles you know, like, nobody's better than anybody. We're both, you know, good in our own respect and what we do. But Gunnery Sergeant, if you are watching this, which I'm pretty sure you are, honestly, man, what you did was fucked up. Very fucked up. That's awesome, dude. But, you know, what you said to me, Gunnery Sergeant, was very fucked up. Like, sitting there saying that Rianne is better than me, and that I'm shit, and that she's MVP, and this and that, and da-da-da. And I'll give you credit, man. I really will. She is good. I will give you that. Like, I'll admit, dude, she is very good. But honestly, dude, if you don't like my styles of music that I do, you know, you don't have to listen. But honestly, man, you have no right sitting there comparing styles and degrading somebody like me who works their ass off. Like, that's really, you know, that's a fucked up thing to do. Like, you don't see me going around degrading other people on what they do. I don't sit there and degrade you. I don't sit there and degrade Redcon 1 Music Group. I don't degrade any genre of music. Unless it's calling me out, then I will not degrade. Every artist and every band is good in their own right, in their own respect. Like, nobody's better than anybody. 
We are all good in our own respect and our craft and what we do. Like, what you did to me last night, that was not only screwed up, but that was really just degrading, dude. It was fucked up. Like, you literally tried dragging me down. And honestly, when you did that, it did, you know, make me feel disappointed and upset that you would, you know, stoop to a level and do that. Hey, what up, Gonzo? How you doing, buddy? Hold on one minute, guys. Sorry, I think I just have to do something real quick, and I am going to have to go again here in just a minute. But, you know, like I said, Gunnery Sergeant, you know, I'm not trying to bash on you or anything at all, bro, but, you know, yeah, you have your opinion. But when you degrade someone and belittle them like you did me, that's a really fucked up thing to do. Like, I don't sit there and degrade anybody on what they do. Like, I respect all genres and all styles of music and all styles of art. You know, instead of degrading somebody and dragging them down like you tried to do to me, why not help that person out by saying, hey, that's awesome, you know, you both are really good, you know. You know, she's good, you're good, you both are good in your different styles of music. You can't sit there and compare two different styles of music like that, dude. That you just can't do it. Yes, country vocal wise, Rianne is amazing. And you know, and I can honestly say I'm proud to know Rianne. Like I really am. Like she's a very good friend to me. You know, she's you know got an incredible voice for country music. But when you sit there and compare her country music voice to my metal vocals, like, that's just wrong, dude. Hold on again, guys. What's up guys, sorry about that. Had to grab some dessert from last night's Thanksgiving. Which I will be munching on and chowing on throughout the live stream, but you know, my point is dude, you have no right to degrade somebody the way you degraded me last night during that live stream. Like, what you said to me, it was degrading. It was very upsetting, honestly. Because I honestly thought you were better than that. I really did, dude. And I'll admit, like you said, Rianne did do damn good for her first time doing a live stream ever. So, props to you, Rianne. Shout out to you, man. Like, I had a lot of fun with you last night. That was actually pretty awesome to see what you did. But... For you, Gunnery Sergeant, to sit there and degrade me the way that you degraded me, 
throughout the live stream was wrong. You had no right degrading me because I did not do anything to you. I did not degrade you or bash on you. And normally I'd let this stuff slide, but coming at me the way that you did, that was really fucked up. Like, it really was, dude. Like, some of those comments that you said were very demeaning and degrading towards me. Like, you don't see me sitting there bashing on guy on jazz artists like Louis Armstrong or, you know, major opera singers or violinists or classical music artists. You don't see me bashing on any kind of music. I respect all artists and all bands and all genres of music in general. I show them a mutual respect. But you, however, do not have respect. Because if you did have respect, and you truly respected me as a person and as an artist, you would not have said those degrading things to me that you said. Like, what you said was very, just beyond screwed up. Like, that shit really hurt, dude. It really did. Like, I might not look like it, but inside, dude, you just destroyed me. Like, that was really fucked up. Like, that hurt to see you say that, because, you know, you're a grown-ass adult. You know, and it's people like you... Who degrade me that really pissed me off. Because honestly, dude, at this point, you're a small minded motherfucker. You're this fucking big compared to me right now. Yeah, I might be doing a rant on a live stream towards you right now, man, but there's a fucking reason, dude. Like, you brought this on yourself. You brought it on yourself by degrading me and bringing me down like you tried to do last night in front of my entire fan base and in front of my friends. And that's not cool with me. You know, you sat there and blatantly degraded me in front of my friends, my freaking family, and my fan base. And that's not okay with me. You degraded me in a huge way. Hey, Billy, what's up, dude? Hey, Gerald. So, you know, for you to degrade me like that, Gunnery, like, that was, that was fucked up, man. Like, you don't see me going to your live streams and acting like a child like you did towards me last night. You don't see me going on there acting childish and degrading you at all, do you? No. So, my thing is, why would you do that to me? Why would you come onto my live stream as a grown-ass man, a grown-ass adult, and bash on me like you did? Like, you had no right or reason to do that, man. None. Like, you know, it's small-minded motherfuckers like you that really just set me off. Because you're so closed-minded. You're so fixed on who's better and who's not. That you don't have a mutual respect for all genres of music like I do. I know people from all different musical backgrounds. Okay, and for you to rip on me... With you being a supposed fan. That shows that you're not a supporter or a fan. That just shows that you're a fucking small minded. Jackass little fuckhead. Who needs to fucking shut his damn mouth. And stop judging like you're doing. That's what that shows me. I'm sorry Gunner, but you are a small minded motherfucker. You sit there thinking that you're big and bad. Thinking that you're a badass. By calling me out in front of not only my friends and family, but half my fucking fan base. Are you kidding me? 
Like, you're not making me look bad. You're making yourself look bad. You know, every day, even though I haven't been recording a whole lot, you know, because of my PC being dead and me not being able to work at this point in time, and me focusing on more of all my gameplay videos and my YouTube, and doing live streams of gameplay footage for you guys, you know, that don't give you the right to do that. Just because I'm not able to do anything right now, just because I don't have a PC to produce music, which, if you ask half these people in the comments, dude, they'll tell you the same thing. What you did to me was fucked up, and they respect my music. They respect what I do. They respect Rianne. Hey, Lorena, what up? Veronica, what's good? And Dasher, what up, man? Hey, Phil, what's good, dude? I'm sorry, man. I didn't see you there. What's up, buddy? But, you know, dude, unlike you, I respect all my fans. I respect all my fellow artists. I respect my fellow man and my fellow person. I respect fellow human beings who respect me. The one thing I don't respect, though... Are fucking haters like you who feel like it's okay to degrade and belittle somebody in front of their friends and family like you did with me? And let me tell you something, dude. Not only did my friends and my family see it, but friends of my family and their friends and a whole lot of other people saw what you did. And they all agree that what you did is very wrong and very messed up. Because, you know, like I said, you don't sit there and see me going on to your live streams and saying that this person's better than you or that person's better than you or anything like that. So I don't understand why make those degrading comments towards me. That's what I don't understand, dude. You know... I'm sick of being degraded by people like you, dude. See, what you don't understand is every fucking day of my life, I sit down and I push out my shit. Every fucking day, I send out demos to record label after record label and company after company. Like, every fucking day, that's all I do. Literally, like, when I'm not doing, you know, live stream videos or hanging out with my friends... Like, I'm usually sending out demos, and I'm usually sending them out, like, almost a hundred a day. Literally, like, hundreds of demos I am sending out a day to these record companies. And I'm busting my ass. Because you want to know why? My friends, my family, and my fan base all believe in me. And yes, I do have fans in other countries. And if you don't believe me... Look out, people like my good friend Snowbell. She's one of my biggest fans. Literally, and she's from a whole other country. I have fans in Singapore. I have fans in the UK. I have fans in freaking Australia, dude. So don't sit there and tell me that I don't have a good sized fan base, because I do. Yes, it may be a small international fan base, but it's still a fan base. And for you to sit there and degrade me in front of them, you've got a lot of shit coming your way, motherfucker. And if you don't think that I'm not going to call you out on this shit, you're wrong. Every time you fucking degrade me, I'm going to fucking call your ass out. Because I'm tired of being fucking degraded by people like you. Sitting there saying that everybody's better than me, thinking that I don't deserve a shot. Thinking that I don't deserve a chance to make it. When what you don't realize, dude, is I've got something to say. And the best way I can say what I gotta say is through my music. And you wanna know something? Every single fucking person that has heard my music enjoys every fucking bit of it. Whether it be my dubstep work, whether it be my heavy metal work, or whether it be some classical pieces that I work on from time to time. 
They respect me. They respect me as a person, not just as an artist. You know? I honestly thought that you were more mature than that, dude. Yeah, you might be sitting there thinking that I'm being immature by calling you out. But you want to know something, dude? You wouldn't answer my messages when I messaged you about this shit last night. I don't know if it's because Messenger is messing you up or what. I'm not entirely blaming you on that. But on my end, it showed that you saw it. You didn't reply. So the only other way I could get your fucking attention is to do this. Not that I wanted to, but I literally had no choice but to do this to grab your fucking attention. Because, you know, every day I bust my ass. Not just, you know, musically, but I bust my ass as a person. You know, like, you don't understand the amount of degrading emails and degrading comments I get every day from people like you, man. You don't understand. How degrading a lot of these messages from a lot of these top labels and a lot of the shit that they say to me is. It's very degrading to me every day. Like this morning, I went to check my email and I did get an email back from a really cool underground group. Um, you know? called Red Bull Records or Red Bull Energy Records. I don't know if they're in contact with the energy drink. I don't know. But that's on them. I have nothing to do with the energy drink part or whatever. I don't have nothing to do with that. But, you know, I got a hold of them and stuff. They sent me an email back. You know what that email said? Sorry, your vocals are shit. Literally, the dude that runs it said I was shit. And that I needed to try another career. When I have thousands upon thousands of people, not just on Facebook, but on the app called Star Maker as well. And if you guys don't know what Star Maker is, you guys can go to my timeline. I've got a ton of covers. You just scroll down and it's right there. You guys can check my stuff out. But I have a, at least... I think the last I checked, like 200 and something followers on there. But every single one of those people keeps asking me why I'm not signed. And you want to know why? It's, it's because of degrading motherfuckers like you, Gunnery. Little small-minded degrading motherfuckers like you that don't have any right commenting when it's degrading. Yeah, I'll admit, you got every right to your opinion. I'll admit that. Freedom of speech. Yeah, I know. But when you're degrading somebody the way you degraded me last night, I'm sorry, but you don't get the right to voice your opinion like that and get away with it. Now, if it wasn't so degrading, I would have, you know, blown it off. You know, because I do get hate every single day on not just my music, but a lot of my videos and shit, too. Big deal. A little bit of hate. But honestly, dude, for you to sit there and rip on me like you did, that was severely degrading to me. And it hurt a lot more than you think. Which is why I'm here warning you right now, Gunnery Sergeant. Do not ever, and I mean ever, degrade me on a live stream like that ever again. Because everybody knows that you degrade me like you did, you will suffer the consequences. I will diss your ass, and I will put you in your place. And I'm not afraid to do it. I've done it before. So I'm warning you right now, dude. I will put you on blast again if you ever think about degrading me in front of my friends, my family, or my fan base, or a fellow artist like that ever again. 
And if you don't believe me, motherfucker, just try me. Watch what happens. I dare you to fucking try me, Gunnery. I fucking dare you, dude. I dare you to degrade me again. Because the minute you do, it's over for you. I am sick to death and tired of being degraded by motherfuckers like you. I go through this shit every day and I'm fucking sick of it. I know I might be rambling on and I might sound pissed. Well, you know, when you make those degrading comments that you made towards me, I have every fucking right in the world to be pissed off, dude. Every fucking right. Like, for real, what you did was very fucked up and wrong. I mean, you know, sitting there comparing two totally polar opposite genres. Like, where the fuck do you get off doing that, dude? And if you want proof of your degrading comments, dude, or if any of you in the live stream want to check out those degrading comments, um, you can ask Sarah. She's down in the comments. Speaking of which, shout out to you, Sarah. What's good? But you can ask Sarah, or you can go to the comments um, in the live stream from last night and check out those degrading comments. Hey, what up, Sarah? Um, just so you guys know, if you guys are just now tuning into this live stream, um, last night, as you guys know, my good friend and fellow music artist, Rian Anderson, debuted for the first time during a live stream last night through Facebook live stream along with myself. And I'll admit, you know, she did damn good. But last night in the comments, which Rian brought up to me, actually. Like, you know, me and her were actually hanging out and watching On Demand together, just goofing around, having fun. You know, just like usual family, friend bullshit. Well, you know, she brought up the fact that this gunnery sergeant dude started making shit. Well, you know, he started talking shit, so I was like, all right, you know, who is it? Like, let me know. Like, are they on my friends list or not? Like, I needed to know, like, that way I could be filled in on who it was. Well, it turns out it was my good friend, Gunnery Sergeant. What he did was sat there and made Rian look better than myself by sitting there degrading me by saying that she's better than me. She's the MVP, she's this, she's that, and da-da-da-da. And I'll admit, you know, I will straight up admit, no hate towards Rianne. She was amazing, like, she was phenomenal. She did incredible last night. Like, I'm very proud of her for doing that. Even though it was her first time, she still did admit an amazing job, in my opinion. Like, I'll admit, she did amazing. But he sat there... And degraded me live in front of everybody. And Rianne said something to him. And then he continued and continued to do it. And I didn't know that he was degrading me. Until she caught the comments and said something to me. That's how I found out about it. And if you guys want to see those comments. You guys can actually go to the previous live stream. From last night. They are still there. So you guys can go in and check those out. But, you know, it's like I was saying, you know, it's small-minded motherfuckers like that that want to sit there and compare two different genres. Like, two totally different genres against each other and two different artists against each other. Yes, I'll admit, regular vocal-wise, Rian's got me beat out. Because that girl can fucking... Sing like a motherfucker. She's got the voice for country music. Yes. I have the voice for doing heavy metal. But to sit there and compare those two genres. Saying that one person's better than the other. That's not good. That's not okay. Every artist is good in their own respect. Okay. You're talking to a dude. Who's been compared. 
to guys like Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park or Mitch Walker from Suicide Silence. And yes, I've been compared to both of those through Star Maker. I've had people telling me that I would give both of them a good run for their money. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, he has no right comparing two different genres. You're completely right, sir. Like, you really are completely right on that. But, you know, it just, it really set me off because, you know, every day I get degraded by record labels every fucking day. Like, literally, like, I send out mass emails every day to record labels, sending them you know, different demos of my dubstep work and my metal work. Like, every day, you know, I'm constantly sending them out, and I'm constantly getting stuff back that are either kind of disappointing or just straight-up degrading and upsetting. And, you know, for him to do that, knowing what I go through already, that was just really a, not only a dick move, but it was really fucked up because I had just gotten an email back yesterday from Red Bull Records about how my stuff sounded like shit compared to a lot of the other artists. Which, you know, at that point I was already, well, not really so much pissed off as I was dis you know, disappointed. But for him to add on to that, it's like, who the fuck are you to compare? Yes, Rianne stood up for me. And I thank you for that, Rianne. That is a huge deal to me. Not just as a person, but as an artist as well. You know, I definitely thank you for that. Like, that actually does mean something to me. But for Gunnery to sit there and add on to that shit by saying what he said, like... Where does he have that right to do that, you know? Like, you know, he doesn't, that wasn't his place to say that. He was way out of line. Like, you don't sit there and see me bashing on other artists or on other people. Unless they physically, like, come to me and say something to me. Or they message me or send me some kind of degrading message to fire back at them with. That's the only time I'll do that is if they come at me first and attack me first. That's the only time. Other than that, I don't try to battle with anybody. I don't try to fight anyone. I don't try to degrade anyone. Like, you know, I try to give them positive influence. I try to lift them up and help them out. I don't sit there and tear them down like Gunnery tried doing to me last night. Like, that was a very fucked up thing to do. Like, that really was. Like, that was a huge slap in the face to me. Because, you know, when he said what he said to me, that made me think at that point in time, you know, why keep doing this? You know, maybe he's right. Maybe I do sound like shit. But then I quickly realized, I was like, no, you know what? I've got an, an entire, and it's, it's, it might be a small fan base, like I said, but I have a small international fan base that I love to death. I have fans and friends in almost every country in the world who listen to my stuff. And every single one of those fans are pulling for me to make it. Which is why I'm doing what I can. Even now when I don't have a computer, I'm still doing what I can to push my stuff as much as I can to try to get signed to a label so I can fucking make it. Exactly. And that's the one thing that I hate right there 
are fucking keyboard warriors. I fucking hate that shit. Like, I'll admit, you know, not bashing on all keyboard warriors. You know, some of them are, you know, dead straight on right about a lot of stuff. Like, I'll admit, like, when it comes to politics and, you know, someone bashing on someone, a lot of the times they're right. And they do, I will admit, some of them do stand up for the littler guy. Some of them do stand up for the underdog. But when it comes to dudes like that, it's like, really? Like, you're just making yourself look bad in front of a whole bunch of people. Like, that's, it's really a fucked up thing. I mean, do I consider myself a keyboard warrior? A keyboard warrior because I go off on very real issues that I actually know something about and I'm able to voice and speak my opinion on? No. I mean, a lot of people might, but I'm really not. I'm just another guy who's an old school guy who is aware of very real situations. Like the situation that's going on with North Korea. You know, Trump could end that shit really fucking quick. Like he really could. He could bring Korea to his knees. He could bring North Korea to their knees if he wanted to. If he really wanted to, he could. And I understand that he wants peace. I get that. And he wants to avoid that. But at the same time, you got to look at it like this. With their leader having all that power and threatening us. And him having nukes aimed not only at us, but at South Korea. And all of the U.S. allies. Don't you think that gives us leeway to fucking take his ass out now before he even thinks about trying something? And it's better to end the threat early and prevent a war than to wait until it's too late and have one start. I mean, if he can talk his way out of it, that's great. But with the way the North Korean leader is, that's not going to happen. And one reason why I do connect with the issue with North Korea is because, as some of you may know, uh, my friend James, who I actually met through the website Anaspace.net a long time ago before it was switched to Anaspace.net and it was Anabide.com. He was one of my first very good friends on there. You know, we used to video chat. We used to hang out and everything. Like, he would visit me. I would visit him whenever we could. You know, he was a very dear friend to me. Well... He did, you know, mention a while back that, yeah, he does, you know, reporter music or, like, you know, reporting for some local news channels in his country. Because he had moved from the U.S. to, I think, like, the U.K. or something like that. For whatever reason, I don't know. But he wound up going over to North Korea to report on some stuff. He went undercover as a journalist. And stuff like that. And granted, yes, he was a Christian. So he carried like a small little pocket Bible on hand. That you could know, just stick in your pocket and carry with you. Hey, that's great, you know. Well, he unfortunately got killed because of that Bible. He got killed with almost 80 other people. Maybe even, I think it was like 80 or like 800 people. That were killed inside of a stadium. For different simple issues that were against the fuck the relevant the really fucked up dictatorship laws by Kim Jong which to me when I found out I was very you know upset because you know like this is a simple man who was just trying to provide for his family and then for him to get shot just because he has a bible like that's really messed up but that's how North Korea is. They murder people. They kidnap people. And there's no repercussion for that? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you know, somebody needs to fucking do something. Because if he can do this, 
If he can fucking kill people like that and get away with it, imagine what that fucked up man can do on a worldwide scale. Imagine all that nuclear power that he's armed up with. Imagine all of that being directed at the U.S., being directed at South Korea, being directed at Japan, the U.K., Canada, Russia. Like, imagine those nukes going off towards us and our allies. That's why I said... You know, it's better to stop him now and put an end to him now and free the North Korean people rather than to sit there and wait it out to see what he does. It's better to neutralize the threat right now than to just sit around and not do anything. Because the more we wait around, the more people are going to die. The more lives that are at stake, the more casualties that there are going to be. So you see, I do pay attention to stuff. And like I said, when I found out about my good friend James being killed, I was destroyed. And I took that personal. And anybody in the right mind would. The leader of North Korea is a monster. He is no leader. He is a fucking monster. He portrays himself as this glamorous, you know, um, sympathetic, you know, rich, kind-hearted guy. But underneath all that, he's a fucking monster. Because let me tell you guys something. I've seen some of the footage of what really goes on in there, and it's, it's honestly scary. It really is. Like, they have no power. They have, I mean, they do have some power. Like, you know, electricity. Yes, they have computers, but their internet, they can't look up anything outside of North Korea. They can't have anything to do with the U.S. They can't do anything that goes against their leader. Because that is punishable by death in the eyes of their leader. And is that fair? No, because there's a lot of them that want to get out. There's a lot of them that do try to escape that don't make it out. And those people that do try to escape, they get killed. No questions asked. They get killed every time they try to escape. There's been thousands of people that have tried to escape North Korea, but didn't. And they wound up getting killed because of it. It's really sad to see that. And that's what I meant earlier by, you know, when I voice my opinion on something I know about, I'm not just stating my opinion, I'm stating pure facts of what can and what should be done about those real issues. So do I consider myself somewhat of a keyboard warrior? In a sense, yes. But also, when I go on to talk about these issues, I come prepared because I know what I'm speaking about. I know what goes on. I pay attention. But for people like you, Gunny, or Gunnery, my bad, Gunny, my bad, bro, but for you to sit there and do that like that, Gunnery, that's a really... You know, that's a dick move. And honestly, that's a childish move. And what you did was very childish. Like, I don't sit there and come after you and degrade you on your live streams. So, why would you do that to me? That's what I want to know. That's the answer I'm looking for. It's like, why would you do that? Knowing what I deal with every day. Not just as an artist, but as a special needs artist. I face a lot more than you even realize, dude. Like, you have no idea the level of discrimination that I face every day with these record labels and people in general. 
Hey, Jeffrey, what's up, buddy? So, I mean, for you to degrade me like that, dude, it's very upsetting because you don't know what life is like, man. You don't understand what I face every single day. And honestly, I don't think you ever will understand. Man, is it fair that you did that to me? No. But as I said, you know, that is your opinion. You do have the right to it. But when you degrade me like that, you don't have that right to voice that opinion. I don't tolerate negativity on my live streams, and everybody knows it. And this is your fair warning right now, Gunnery Sergeant. You ever bash on me again, like you did last night, you can and will be expecting retaliation. And not just from myself. But from everybody here and all my friends and family and fans, you can't expect a major retaliation if you continue this. So my advice to you, stop degrading people. Start showing some respect and love towards people. Stop degrading them. Otherwise, the consequences aren't going to be very good. Well, with that being said, guys, I do hope that you guys understand what was going on last night. As I said, if you guys want to see those degrading comments that he did leave, you guys can go on to my live stream from last night. Like, just scroll down below this live stream, go to the one from last night. It will be there. And you guys can either say something to him or something. But for proof, you guys can, like I said, go to the live stream where I was with Rian last night and view those comments. And if you guys have any opinions on those comments, you know, message me and let me know or leave them in the comments below. Um, with that being said, guys, I am going to hop off here because here in a bit I am going to play some more Call of Duty Black Ops 1 live stream on here. So until then, I will catch you guys later, man. Love every single one of you guys. Stay up, stay healthy, stay safe. And I hope you guys are having a good rest of the day and night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you guys in a little bit.